हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन लेक्चर सीरीज ऑर्गेनाइज बाय एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर एवला आई एम डॉक्टर हर्षन रानी टीचिंग अ सब्जेक्ट नॉन कंप्यूटर एंड इंजीनियरिंग एंड टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ दिस सेशन इज नुमेरिकम ऑन शेप फंक्शन The topic covered in this today's session is numerical or shape function for one-dimensional bar element. We know that one-dimensional bar elements has two nodes, n1 and n2, are the shape functions which are derived from natural coordinate system as n1 is equal to 1 minus x upon l, while n2 is equal to x upon l, and uh, According to the definition of shape function, property at any point within the element is given by u is equal to n1 u1 plus n2 u2. Now we will study different problems for one dimensional bar element. Consider the numerical one, the two noted one dimensional element has nodes. 1 and 2 located at a distances of 200 and 360 mm respectively from y axis. The displacements of the nodes 1 and 2 are 0 0.03 mm and 0 minus 0 0.05 mm respectively. At point P which is located at a distance of 40 mm from node 1 within the element determine the natural coordinate the linear shape functions and the displacements at point p or two noted one dimensional element is shown in the figure in local as well as natural coordinate system in local coordinate system the x1 denotes the distance of node 1 from y axis where the x2 denotes the distance of node 2 from y axis. The x is the distance of point P from the y axis. In case of natural coordinate system, the node 1 is denoted by epsilon is equal to minus 1 and node 2 at node 2 epsilon is equal to plus 1. And the point P is at a distance epsilon from the epsilon is equal to 0. According to the given figure, the given data is x1 is equal to 200 mm, x2 is equal to 360 mm, u1 is equal to 0 0.03 mm, u2 is equal to minus 0 0.05 mm and distance of 1 to p is 40 mm. So from the figure we require the distance x that is the distance of point P from the y axis and it can be obtained as x is equal to x1 plus distance between node 1 to P which is equal to 200 plus 40 which is equal to 240 mm. Now to calculate the natural coordinate we have the relation between natural coordinate and local coordinate as epsilon is equal to 2 into x minus x1 upon x2 minus x1 minus 1. By putting the all values of x, x1, x2, x1, we will get 2 into 240 minus 200 divided by 360 minus 200 minus 1, which gives rise to epsilon is equal to minus 0 0.5. Now, Calculation of linear shape functions. We know that the shape functions for one dimensional two noded element are n1 is equal to 1 minus epsilon by 2 and n2 is equal to 1 plus epsilon by 2. Therefore, n1 is equal to 1 minus epsilon by 2, which is equal to 1 minus of minus 0 0.5 divided by 2, which gives rise to 0 0.75 and n2 is equal to 1 plus epsilon by 2 which is equal to 
1 minus 0 0.5 divided by 2 which gives rise to 0 0.25. In this way, the linear shape functions are n1 is equal to 0 0.75 and n2 is equal to 0 0.25. The, uh, we have, uh, the next stage there, to next to find is the displacement of point P. Now, we know that according to the definition of shape functions, we can write u is equal to n1 u1 plus n2 u2. Uh, putting this value of n1 u1 and n2 u2, we will get the displacement at point P is 0.01 mm. Therefore, the displacement at point P is 0.01 mm. Now, consider the second numerical whose statement is the one dimensional element has a length of 200 mm. The temperatures at nodes 1 and 2 are 100 degree and 40 degree Celsius respectively. Evaluate the shape functions associated with node 1 and node 2 if the temperature is to be evaluated at point P which is located at a distance of 150 mm from the node 1 within the element. Estimate the temperature at point P. The figure is drawn on the basis of numerical is shown on the screen with the help of lo local as well as natural coordinates. The, it is assumed that the y-axis is at node 1. Then we have given x1 is equal to 0, x2 is equal to 200 mm, x is equal to 150 mm, t1 is equal to 100 degree Celsius, t2 is equal to 40 degree Celsius. Next is to obtain the natural coordinate we have epsilon is equal to 2 into x minus x1 divided by x2 minus x1 minus 1 which is equal to 2 into 150 minus 0 divided by 200 minus 0 minus 1 which gives rise to epsilon is equal to 0 0.5 now for the evaluation of shape functions we know that shape functions n1 is equal to 1 minus epsilon divided by 2 is equal to 1 minus 0 0.5 divided by 2 which gives rise to 0 0.25 and n2 is equal to 1 plus epsilon divided by 2 which is equal to 1 plus 0 0.5 divided by 2 which gives rise to 0 0.75 therefore n1 is equal to 0 0.25 and n2 is equal to 0 0.75 now we have to calculate the temperature at point p according to the definition of shape functions the t is equal to n1 t1 plus n2 t2 we are putting the values of n1 t1 n2 and t2 in this equation we will get 0 0.25 into 100 plus 0 0.75 into 40 this gives rise to t is equal to 55 degrees celsius therefore the temperature at point p is equal to 55 degrees celsius now consider the numerical 3 which stated as the one dimensional element of length 500 mm fixed at the one end and loaded by a load of 10 kN to the other end. It is observed that the deformation in the element at the loaded end is 25 mm. Calculate the shape function and obtain the deformation at a point situated at a distance of 400 mm from fixed end. Now the problem can be presented in graphical form on the screen in terms of local coordinates. The y-axis is at node 1 point. The node 2 is located 
at a distance of x2 from y axis and point p is located at a distance a from the y axis according to the problem the given data is x1 is 0 x2 is 500 mm x is 400 mm u1 is 0 and u2 is 225 mm now we have to evaluate natural coordinate we know that natural coordinate epsilon is equal to 2 into x minus x1 divided by x2 minus x1 minus 1 by putting the value of x x1 x2 x1 we will get epsilon is equal to 0 0.6 now calculation of the shape function we know that shape functions n1 is given by 1 minus epsilon by 2 and n2 is given by 1 plus epsilon by 2 as the previous problem we can find out the n1 is equal to 0 0.2 and n2 is equal to 0 0.8 now the deformation at point p which is at a distance of 400 mm from the fixed end is given by the definition of shape functions we know that u is equal to n1 u1 plus n2 u2 by putting the value of n1 u1 and n2 u2 we will get u is equal to 0 plus 0 0.8 multiplied by 25 this gives rise to u is equal to 20 mm therefore the deformation of point p under the load of 10 kN is 20 mm ok friends this is among the numericals on the shape functions for one dimensional element case today's session is over now in next session we will discuss on numericals on uh, of the shape functions based on the two dimensional element case